in a real world application we have to pass some information in the url so in this video we will talk about how to pass the parameter value in the route in angular in this application we are having one more module that is the public module let's generate the routing for this public module also so here i am creating ng gm public We got a new file that is the public routing module at this place and let's generate a component for this public so that is ng g c and in this public let's give the name to our component public so basically in the public folder we are having the public component and this time I do not want the parent folder for this one so I'm having only the flat at the enter button and you will notice that it has been added over here and we have it in the declaration as well okay let's copy the routing code from this user routing module go back to this public routing module and over here let's choose it like this just remove this part from here and this time here I have to use the public component so let's comment this part just for a while and let's import all of them so quick fix and import all of them now we have to provide a path at this place that is first I'm having let's say it is public and at this place I want to define the route for these components first is all books then we have this book details and then we have this home okay so let's see here I'm writing all books save the changes then the component is all books like this then I want to see this book details so here I'm writing book details and then here I have to pass the book detail component and let's use this public module in the app module over here At this place you will notice that whenever we will run this application and I want to see the details of a particular book then I have to provide its value in the URL basically the book ID and if I want to pass the book ID in the URL then I have to provide the space here in this routing and I can do that easily by using the forward slash and then use the colon and then the name of your parameter like this now what will happen this URL will match to public then the book details and then the ID Let's see how it is working. Here we are on the browser and this time if here I am passing public and we are missing one more important point that is the router outlet in this public component. Save the changes. Okay, this time here I have to use book and I am writing all books. You can see we are getting this message all books works. Now if I want to see the details of one single book and for that we have defined this particular path book details. So let's use that book details at this place hit the enter button you can notice we are getting an error and the error is cannot match any route. So this time instead of having only this book details we have to provide its id. So let's say the id is 1 just hit the enter button and this time you can notice that this particular route is working. This is how you can pass some value in the URL. Now let's say along with this book ID, I also want to pass the author details. So here again I can write basically the hard coded part that is the author. And then the ID of the author. So here I'm writing author ID. Just save the changes. And this time you can see that we have to pass two dynamic values. If we are having colon and some name it means this particular part will be replaced with a dynamic value in the real time so this time here let's use public then this book details and here i have to use author and then let's say it is one two three hit the enter button and this time you can see that this book details component is working fine 
This is how you can pass multiple values in your route. There is no limit on passing the values in the URL as long as the length of your URL is valid. Now let's say you want to pass some data at this root level. How can we do that? So for that, let's open this user component and let's define that part in the user routing module. So basically as of now, you can see that we can open these components by using this user add book and then the user and the delete book. Now I want to open these components with a user ID. Although this is not a correct way to get the user ID, but here because we are only learning about the concept, so we are good at this place. Let's say here I want to pass the user ID. So I can write this ID at this place and you can give any meaningful name to your parameter also. So you can also write the user ID and always try to write the proper name to your variables. Just save the changes, go back to the browser and this time let's use the user and if I enter this delete book, you can see that it is not working. So here I have to pass the user ID and that is the one. And this time you will see that we are getting this delete book works because this time we are using this path at this level and this is the base path for all the child components. It means this is applicable for this particular path and for this particular path. So if you want to access the add book, then again you have to pass this user ID. It is working fine.